Hello, my name is Carly and I am a librarian here at Mercer University. Today we're going to talk about how to use the database CQ Researcher. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Mercer University Libraries website, which is libraries.mercer.edu. Next, we are going to click on the database's A to Z button. Then I'm going to click on the C and scroll down until I find CQ Researcher. It is important that you access CQ Researcher through the library website because it is a paid subscription database, meaning that you have free access since you are a Mercer student. If you look at the top right corner, you can see that we are logged in through Mercer University. CQ Researcher provides fact-checked, unbiased accounts of today's top issues by a seasoned journalist. These reports provide a much broader picture of an issue than a typical newspaper or magazine article would. Before we get started, I want to point out that CQ Researcher provides an excellent overview for a variety of topics, but it is not a peer-reviewed source. If your professor wants you to use peer-reviewed articles, you will want to use a different database for those requirements. There are a variety of ways to explore topics on CQ Researcher, so we will look at a few different methods. First, you may explore by topic. For example, if you haven't selected a specific topic and want to browse some options. I'm going to look at agriculture for our first example. If you scroll down, you'll see a variety of results related to agriculture. Notice that we are seeing two different types of sources, reports and hot topics. I'm going to first look at this Forever Chemicals article, which is a report. Also, note the question that is listed under the title. In this example, can PFAs be eliminated from the environment? This question will help add some context to the report and what it is centered around. Compared to the hot topics, reports are more comprehensive and include the following parts. Introduction, current situation, pro cons, and outlook. So here we have the introduction. And if we scroll down, we can see there's also a background section. And there's also a chronology section. So we can see that this topic starts in the 1930s and goes down to about present day. Here's the current situation tab. It also has some short features with questions and answers. The pro con tab. And so this question we have, should the government ban PFAs? Notice that the authors of these pro cons are people who are in the field. So you get kind of a balanced view of the situation. And then we have Outlook and the Bibliography, Next Step, and Footnotes. All right, so let's go back and look at a Hot Topic example. So let's take a look at the climate change example. So as I mentioned, hot topics are shorter reports on today's top issues. These can include information about the topic as well as chronology. At the bottom of the page, you can see past issues of the topic. Scroll all the way down. We can see that beginning in 2013, there were climate change topics and that there are different ones for each year. 
So because multiple editions exist, do make sure to pay attention to the publication date as you are looking at these. Additionally, while reports may be on the same overarching topic, the question underneath can vary. So for example, up here we have, will some regions soon become uninhabitable? So if we scroll down here to the bottom, say we were to look at an example from 2017, even though it is also climate change, you can see that the focus is a bit different. So we have here, is the climate change debate shifting? All right, and again with the hot topic, we have this section here, and then we also have the chronology as well. So if you would like to save this and return to it later, you have a few different options. Uh, one you can do is that you can click on this Get Link button here, and then you can copy this address here. Make sure that you do not just copy this address that is up here at the top. And um, this is a temporary link, so make sure that you save this permalink instead. Another option you have is this download PDF button. When you click on that, you'll see that it automatically starts downloading that PDF. And a third option you have here is to click on this heart beside add to list. Um, note that you will need to create a personal account with CQ Researcher in order to do this to save it to your account. All right, let's go back to the home page and I'm going to show you a different way to search. So if you already have a topic in mind, you can search it directly using the search bar. So for example, say that I am looking for information about telehealth. All right, and so looking at our results real quick, um, this future of telemedicine looks like this could be very useful for us. Again, let's go back to the home page and I can also show you about how to do an advanced search. So an advanced search is up here at the top. And here you have the option to narrow by search term author, topic, publication date, um, let's see, you also have the option to limit it to just reports or just to hot topics. All right, and we have now reached the end of this CQ Researcher tutorial. If you have further questions or would like assistance, please feel free to reach out. We are happy to help.